What's up guys, Kevin over at Leg Bros coming back at you with another video today. Uh, what I decided to do on this $10,000 uh, Star Wars lot is there's still a whole bunch of stuff left, but most of it is actually um, built. So I'm having to like un, you know, piece all of those individual sets and that's taking too long uh, for you guys to wait for it on the video. And <laughs> to go along with that uh, and to support the fact that I have a gigantic problem, uh, I ended up buying another collection. <laughs> Uh, I know, I ended up buying another one. So those videos need to happen as well so we can get that kind of stuff up. Uh, most of that was sealed. It's not all Star Wars. There is some good stuff in there, very vintage stuff as well. Um, so I'm really excited to get to those videos. So uh, I'm already over the uh, $10,000 Lego Star Wars haul <laughs> all videos, if any of you guys can believe it. Uh, if you are new here, I am doing enormous uh, Lego hauls all the time. Uh, and then just some small ones too. So just go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you do like Lego and uh, hit the like button as well. If you guys haven't entered the contest, we did just hit a thousand subscribers. So go ahead and enter the contest that is in the video before this. Make sure you're subscribed, comment below on that video and uh, you could be entered to win. There'll be four winners in that video too. So definitely a good chance of winning. I think there's less than a hundred content, uh, hundred participants right now. So, so let's go ahead and go through this. What I'm going to do here, uh, is I'm going to, um, go through the actual just instruction booklets. Cause I don't want to bring out all the sets. I don't want to go through all that. Uh, so we're going to do the smalls first in this video and I'll follow that up by the, uh, larger sets, uh, in the next video. So, uh, go ahead and stay tuned and let's go ahead and go through this box here. Um, I'm going to grab just a whole bunch and we'll just go through them as fast as we can. Cause a lot of them are duplicates as well. Uh, so the first things we have are these little mini builds. Uh, we did have the 4484, that was the X-Wing and the TIE Advanced. So we had one, two of those. Then we had 4485, which was Sebulba's Pod Racer. Um, and I think we only had one of those. We had 4486, so as you can see, most of the collection is just every single set made uh, from these kind of things, which is the ATST and the Snowspeeder. We had two of those. I'll actually try to keep these in order. Throw them back there like that. Uh, 4487, the Slave 1 and Jedi Starfighter. Cool little mini build. There's two of those as well. Uh, 4488, which was the little mini Millennium Falcon. Great little build there. We had the 4489, the AT-80, the 4490, the Republic Gunship. Uh, 4491, the MTT. 4492, the Star Destroyer. And another Star Destroyer. Uh, 4493, the Sith Infiltrator. We had two of those as well. 94 was the Imperial Shuttle, one of my favorite ships of all time. And we had two of those. And then we had 4495, the ATTE. So that follows up all of those. Let's put these here so they still stay relatively in order so I can find the instructions when I need them, is kind of how the, the whole goal was. We had a whole bunch of little mini uh, instruction books too with like this little tiny mini uh, speeder, I guess you could call that, uh, 30005. Uh, and then we also had 30051, little ARC Starfighter, little mini Imperial Shuttle, 30246, an A-Wing, 272, a uh, First Order TIE, 276, a Star Destroyer, it looks like, or some kind of destroyer. Um, it's probably a First Order Destroyer, I guess, uh, 277. We had Poe's X-Wing, 278. Uh, 279 was Kylo Ren shuttle. 380 was another, those are both Kylo Ren's, right? Maybe that's Krennic's. Um, and then we had a U-Wing, 496, and a First Order um, AT, AT, I guess? I don't know what that was called, uh, 497. So those little tiny, teeny books. And like I said, these are all in parts. Uh, most of them are built on in boxes. <laughs> I just didn't want to go through that. Uh, so I figured we'll just go through a bunch of them just like this, just whip through them as fast as we can. Cause this would take like 20 videos <laughs> to go through. Um, we do have the lightsaber duel, the classic one, 7101, Darth Maul and Qui-Gon there. Uh, 9674, this is a little um, Naboo Starfighter, just a minier version of Naboo Starfighter. Uh, we had a pod racer here, 9675, Sebulba's pod racer. And we had 9676. Uh, this is a TIE Interceptor, it looks like. I actually had two of those. A little X-Wing, 9677. Oh, this is the Planet series, I believe. Yeah, so they came with the other, the little planets right there. Um, we had 9678, 
with that planet. That was the, I'm guessing, Cloud City uh, car. And it also came with a minifigure. Uh, we have another one of those. And we have the Endor planet with 9679, little ATST. Uh, we have the little mini build of a turbo tank, 20006. Then some Brickmasters, uh, we had 20019. We actually have all the Brickmasters in there. Um, I actually put those uh, in their bag, so I might have to go through those later on. Um, we had 7006, which was a little uh, Jedi Starfighter, Obi-Wan's. And then a Star Destroyer 70, or 75007. Alrighty, moving right along. It's going pretty good. Some of the micro fighters I had uh, already built and stuff like that too. I probably should have grabbed all of those now that I think about it, but you know, too late. <laughs> uh, we have 75008. This is a little TIE bomber. They need to make another one of those. Uh, we have 75009. This is a snow speeder with the planet Hoth. Uh, 75010. This is a B wing. I don't necessarily know. I'm guessing Alderaan, maybe? No, that's Alderaan. So what's that one? I don't know what this one is. Comment below what that planet was. I don't remember. Uh, 75011 with the Tantiv. We had 75028, which is a microfighter of the Turbo Tank. A lot of people's favorite micro build because it came with the Phase 2 clone, which was not... I think he was in two sets, I want to say. Maybe one. I don't know. I think he was in two. Uh, 75030, a little tiny middle mini microfighter with Han Solo and the Falcon. We have 75031 the little TIE Interceptor and TIE Fighter Pilot. Uh, first Order Star Destroyer. Um, I think that's a First Order one. Maybe not. Uh, 75033. Of course, the Snow Speeder. Uh, 75074. 75075 is a little tiny walker. A little ATAT -AT walker. Uh, we have, um, I don't think this is Pose. I think this is just, an, yeah, it's just a Resistance X-Wing. Uh, 75125, a First Order Hover tank, I'm guessing you could say it, or something to that effect. Uh, 75126. 75160 is a little U wing. Uh, 75161 was a, another little TIE advanced TIE fighter there. Uh, 75163 was a, it looks like Krennix shuttle, I want to say, maybe. Um, and then 75195 was a little sand speeder. 196. Um, I don't remember what that is called. I'm wondering if that's supposed to be some kind of U-wing or maybe it's an A-wing. I don't know. I don't know what that ship is called. Uh, we have Kylo Ren's uh, TIE Fighter, 75196. Darth Maul Sith Infiltrator, 75224, uh, which is, I think, a, and then we have uh, the little Praetorian Battle Pack. I think that's what this one was, 225, 75225. Uh, 75226 was the newer kind of uh, Stormtrooper Battle Pack. And then we had a little tiny build. Um, this is two books for this build, apparently. We have ones for that and ones for that, which was the new droid escape, I think. Um, has a little do-back build and a um, sand trooper on top of him, uh, which is kind of cool. The big sets are coming. Next video. Stay tuned for next video. That's when the, uh, the big dogs are coming out. Because we haven't gone through any of the UCS stuff and all the big builds yet. I was getting to the point where I was having to give some of these things to my shipper as well. So there was things like uh, last, was supposed to be included in last video was Tantiv, uh, the 10198 Tantiv. Um, and then also what else was in there? Um, 9493 X-Wing and like five other sets, something to that effect. Uh, most of them were kind of newer sets though. So I didn't really care about showing those. Uh, we have 752262. Uh, this was the new version of the Imperial dropship um, for the battle pack of stormtroopers, so that's the newer version. They replaced the one that had the uh, single shadow trooper and then three dotted mouth stormtroopers. Uh, we have seven two six three. This was a just a regular Tie Fighter. Came with the old school Darth Vader, but this was the uh, lit up Darth Vader. So that's always cool to see where those things come from. Uh, seven six five four. You can see we had three of those. Those were just the droid battle packs. Came with the. Um, uh, sap speeder and then just some other kind of figures there and then it looks like three super battle droids four regular battle droids great battle pack they don't make battle packs like that anymore uh 75099 of course we have Ray's speeder <laughs> everybody's got that i think it's a really cool build though if you don't have that pick it up it's really cheap 
75136, this was the Jawa Battle Pack, um, I believe, because it has, yeah, maybe this was actually a set. I don't know if it's considered a Battle Pack. I think it was maybe just a dropship set. Um, so we have that scene, and the Jawas are chasing them. Uh, we have 75138, which was a Hoth set. I would, it would be good to have the actual writing of what these things are called. <laughs> I don't remember what this one is. I think it's like Echo... No, this is the new version. Yeah, I don't remember what that one's called. Just a little Hoth scene, the little Hoth defense there. Uh, we have Cannon's speeder bike, I believe. Or no, this is like a... Oh, man. It is kind of, it is his speeder bike, but I don't remember if this was actually called Cannon speeder bike or not. But seven five one four one, uh, seven five one six nine, Cannon I should say. Uh, this was the duel between Darth Maul and um, Qui Gon. I want to say, yeah, Qui Gon and Obi Wan. And then we have the newer version of um, Ray here with uh, Luke on Octu Island. I think that's what this set is called, Octu Island. We have a newer version of uh, the Mos Eisley Cantina, just a teeny tiny version of it, just with that scene with Greedo and Han. Uh, we do have a Sand Trooper in there too, but just a very limited version of that kind of scene. 75207 was the battle pack um, that actually just recently got a whole bunch of these in the sealed box. Um, I don't remember what the battle pack was called, but it's from Solo. Uh, and then we have the Death Star Escape, I think is what this one was called. Um, so just a little scene of Leia and Luke and the uh, Stormtrooper there. And then we have the Battle of Rey and Kylo from Episode 7, um, 75236. Almost to the end on these ones, I think. Ah, uh, yes. So, the only ones that were left in the little box, the little sets left, are going to be Brickheads. Um, and they had a whole bunch of Brickheads. These are all built as well. Uh, so we had Finn. Um, I guess you could just say the number of it, which was 19. Uh, we have Captain Phasma for 20. We have Ray for 25. Um, we have Kylo for 26. Han Solo for 39. 40 is Chewie. 55 is Darth Vader. We have 56, this is a little stormtrooper. Uh, 70 and 71 is Luke and little baby Yoda. Not baby Yoda, whoa, whoa, <laughs> regular Yoda. Uh, different people. Uh, we have 72, which is Leia, and then 73, which is probably my favorite brick hit, uh, but with that, because I mean, look at that guy. <laughs> he looks so cool. Um, so those are the Brickheads. Um, they didn't have, obviously, all of the Brickheads, but he had a pretty good collection of them um, from Star Wars specifically. So if you did like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. We're going to do the large sets that are left over, um, which is quite a haul of big things. <laughs> it's probably better we do it this way with those ones because of the fact that... Um, they would take up a lot of desk space if I was trying to pull out all of them. Plus, I have to piece them all out and inventory them and stuff like that. It's just taking forever, so I figured I'd want to get these videos out to you guys. Plus, we got to move on to the next one, uh, the next haul. That one costs slightly less than this one. It only costs $7,000, so you'll feel proud of me that it costs slightly less. Uh, but we have to go through that haul, too, and that's going to be really exciting because there's some really, really cool antique sealed stuff in there. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Smash the like button, hit subscribe, join the contest so you can be entered to win. Make sure you're subscribed to do the contest and comment below on that video, and I'll catch you on the next one.